The aim was to equip athletes with essential knowledge on presenting themselves professionally across various social media platforms, thereby fostering opportunities for their personal and aesthetic growth. The topic as the interactive seminar were understanding social media platforms, the importance of personal branding, crafting engaging content, and implementing a social media policy. The workshop was geared to emphasize the significance of maintaining a professional online presence while delving into often overlooked aspects of competition, such as interview etiquette and handling press conferences. Participants were exposed to comprehensive guidance on navigating the intricacies of social media management tailored specifically to their needs as athletes. Why we decided to do this was because we noticed that there is a, a growing, you know, interest in athletes lives and, and how they prepare how they train and it also bodes well for them when it in, when it comes to the nil deals and you know these big companies wanting to sponsor athletes um in Guyana we have a changing landscape for sports and it is important to equip athletes with the necessary tools to be able to access all the opportunities available to them it is a massive tool to connect with your audience and a lot of times or i guess traditionally Prior to the era of social media, what we saw was uh, athletes, uh, the fan athlete uh, connection, communication being limited to traditional media. And what does that mean? The story was being told by the news media, only by newspapers or radio interviews. With social media, uh, that connection between the fans and the athletes has been uh, extremely strengthened. For Agil, it is important athletes understand their roles and responsibilities. She explained that such a seminar is key to getting sportsmen and women to embrace the fact that they can be agents of positive change. I think it's very important, you know, um, athletes, we play a pivotal role in society in terms of inspiring other people, you know, being a positive influence on society. So I think, you know, having this workshop bodes well for all athletes and you know for us we need to be seen as more than just people who hit a ball or you know uh, swim or do something you know we have a part to play and our voices are should be heard right and I'm sure this is something that will be ongoing because you have new athletes who will be coming into the system as well definitely um, it serves as a way to also have you know younger athletes aspire to something you know see what's possible and in this room uh, we'll ha we have a lot of athletes especially the kids from Carifta that that did very well um, you know so to see and to be around your fellow athletes it also brings a sense of community that they know that they're not alone and they have other people they can rely on as the premium forum for athletes representation and development Edgel said the commission remains committed to empowering Guyanese athletes to excel both on and off the field this workshop like others planned underscores the Commission's dedication to providing invaluable resources and support to the aesthetic community, ensuring their continued success in the global arena. Um, we have a few more workshops, um, one that will be focused mainly on mental health, the other on nutrition, um, just so we can help in the overall development of athletes. And lastly, we would be hosting our forum that would bring athletes together, talking about you know the elections for the Athletes Commission and what to expect from us in the future. Established in 2022, the Guyana Athletes Commission serves as the primary advocate for athletes attached to disciplines affiliated to the Guyana Olympic Association. As part of its mission, the Commission said it is committed to championing the rights and welfare of Guyanese athletes while fostering their holistic development on and off the field. Reporting for Newsroom, I'm Avinash Ramzan.